Well, happy Hanukkah, Pi Pals. Oh, holy smoke and pipe, Andre, back with you. Yes, on this, I guess it's the first night of Hanukkah. I'm listening to a little uh, Hanukkah program on uh, public radio and uh, making a video to you. Well, I'm, I'm here basically just to kind of give you an update, a little accountability here. Uh, with regards to the TSC Global Challenge, finished up week two. Um, and I did better this week. The, um, I almost shaved a minute off my run time, which I was really excited about. And then uh, I did a little bit better on the pull-ups and a little bit better on the push-ups. I didn't uh, do as well as I had hoped, but I did not go back. Mm. And uh, before I go any further, smoking a, a, again this pipe that a dear friend of mine gave to me many, 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 many years ago. It's a Ben Wade, a Danish freehand. And ended up smoking some delicious North, is it Blackwoods? Just gotta get my glasses here. Yeah, Blackwoods Flake from McClellan's. <clears throat> well, uh, I'll go, I'm gonna finish, I'll finish up with my TSC stuff in just a moment. No, well, I'll just do it now. Um, put some videos here and here. Just kind of showing you the old pull-ups and the push-ups again this week. Um, I want to talk about just kind of briefly the fact that this last weekend I, um, I got a little... Oh... I started celebrating a little too early. I've been trying to be really good on the diet. And one of the things that I have has been hanging over my head is a big class that I had to teach this last Saturday. And after that class, you know, I just felt like a big weight was taken off my shoulders. You know, I'd spent uh, probably a month or two months preparing this class. And so when it finally came to the fact that I was done, um, I did breathe a sigh of relief and I just thought, you know what, it's, it's important to celebrate little moments like that. So I allowed myself some treats and I have gotten into the habit of ginger cookies. I just love ginger cookies. I don't know what it is, but I just love them. Um, so I, uh, the last few evenings, we've had little parties and stuff, so I've kind of given myself permission to treat, uh, eat some treats, and I, and I have to be careful because if I, if I keep going, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of get myself into trouble. So today has been a, basically a fast day, a, a juicing day, and that's all, and some coffee. And this beautiful um, Blackwoods pipe tobacco. So, <laughs> uh, and anyway, I um, also, I, I uh, Monday, we had a big dinner for our annual penance, our Christmas, our Advent penance service. And I was the chef, and so I cooked a nice dinner for all the other Padres. And I spent all day doing that. And then I was even tasked to give the message or preach a homily uh, at the service. So I had a lot of stuff on my plate. So the, the long and the short of it is that Monday I missed my workout. And now week three, as which we're in now, responsibility. Now I ran yesterday. I did the 20-minute uh, cardio challenge or champion cardio challenge run which was fine 
but uh, but I didn't do Monday, so I had not done Monday's workout. And Chris Kruger says, well, if you miss a workout, if you have to, try not to. But if you do, make it up. You're still responsible. So today is Wednesday. Today, Wednesday is usually uh, back and chest day. Anyway, the bottom line is uh, that I actually was able to do uh, the workout for Monday earlier in the morning and actually early in the afternoon and then later in the afternoon I did the, the today's prescribed workout so I got caught up and I feel that you know, I'm still in the club I'm still doing it uh, in my third week here it goes fast the the TSC challenge goes pretty fast um, want to say a shout out to Jaime Oliveira I believe he's uh, still working on the TSC Global Challenge. Way to go, Jaime. Um, so he's excited about that. And if I was in, in any way instrumental in introducing him to uh, the TSC Global Challenge and Chris Kruger, then I'm really happy that he was able to learn about it from you know my channel and uh, and other people's. You know, other people are posting videos. This is going to be kind of uh, my little well. Yeah, I guess I'll just use this as my little uh, video blog for the, today because uh, I've been doing trying to do a daily video blog. I haven't been keeping up with that, but this will count for at least day, whatever today's day is. So there you go. Um, I just wanted to say that I... Uh, I want to let you know I'm going to be moving soon. I think I, I think that maybe I made that a little bit. I might have announced that in one of my videos earlier. So I'm going to be going to a new parish soon. It's not completely 100%. So once I kind of get something in writing telling me exactly where I'm going, I just know that I'm moving. So, once it becomes official, official in writing, you know, you get orders. If you're in the military, you got to have orders in hand, or it's, it's really not official. It's all rumor until you get orders. Same thing is kind of true of the church. But I will be um, going. In fact, I've got most of my stuff boxed up. Um, are in the process of boxing the rest of it up and moving to kind of like a, a staging area. I have to move out so the other new guy who's going to take my place here can move in. But we did the remodeling this last summer, if you re if you recall, and so I boxed up about 50% of it then. And so I never did unbox things. <laughs> I kind of kind of had a sense that. You know, I've been here quite a while, and I've loved every minute of it. But you can't be the, <clears throat> you can't stay in one place for very long. And I've actually stayed here longer than most people do. So it's kind of time for me to, you know, mosey on down the trail to the next assignment. But I, I feel, I feel good. I, I wanted to say in passing, you know, I have, um, I don't have any regrets. Um, I think had I not started turning my life around, uh, health-wise, um, taking advantage of the, we have this, we have a beautiful little park system here, and um, uh, I, I gotta say I've taken advantage of it. I went for another three-mile walk today, so it's not like I, I have you know neglected uh, things, and. You know, even 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 good things. You know, even we have a wonderful kitchen here. Yeah, I have cooked a lot of uh, meals, primarily lasagnas for people, and I, you know, I, I I won't have any regrets. I won't, you know, there's always I think we have regrets when we don't, um, you know, do things in our with our lives and in our lives. You know, later on we say, gosh, I wish I had done that. I wish I had taken. When I say take advantage, I don't mean in a in an un Christian kind of way, but I mean, and, you know, really enjoy the good things, the good things that God does give us. And 
Mm-hmm. And I just think, well, you know, it'd be kind of sad if I was looking back and going, man, I wish I'd taken advantage of this beautiful park system to walk and run in. Well, I did. You know, the last, you know, even the first year I was here, well, actually the second year I was here, I actually started it, but I then I gave up on it after a year and I kind of got melancholy or whatever. And so I, you know, I kind of lacked, you know, I kind of got a little lackadaisical and kind of started going back again. That's why I guess I'm really keen not to go back ever again. So anyway, um, so, uh, but I won't, I won't have any real regrets. I feel like I've uh, done the best I can. I hope I've helped a few people. A few people have told me I've, I've helped them, and I and I, I believe that they're being sincere. I don't think they're trying to make me feel feel good. And you know, the reality is that I am just one guy, and I think that's why a lot of priests are always. I think God kind of chooses some of us guys that are a little bit on the little bit of the odd side. You know, we're not bad people; we're just different. And uh, you know, there are some people that I can very easily, quote unquote, if you want to use the word minister to, help. I'm granted, I'm granted, I'm limited. There are some people that will not respond to me. They will, you know, again, because I maybe I'm a little too odd for them, they won't feel comfortable or they'll feel like that guy's weird or I just, they, you know, we just are all human beings. We, we have different personal, personalities that we relate to and some personalities we just don't. Uh, so anyway, the bottom line is that um, you know I was sent to help some people, and maybe maybe I'll I'll know who they are, and maybe I won't. Um, I remember a good friend of mine in seminary told me that one time. He said that you know we're, we whenever we're you know we're sent we we move around a lot, but you know, there's a reason why we're sent somewhere, and possibly. And this one guy said, I think I was sent here to, to and this is back in seminary days, he says, his name is Les, and he goes, I think I was sent here to, to be your friend and help you through, you know, the seminary years. And I thought, yeah, maybe so, maybe so. So anyway, um, but some people, you know, we're, we're sent and, you know, hopefully we help people. I remember one time when I was in the military and going to my hail and farewell. And a guy stood up and just absolutely shocked the socks out of me. He was a, a guy who was a convert. And I never thought that he really particularly had a real connection with me. I mean, I would meet with him about once a week, and we'd go through the catechism together. And he had really good insights, and he was really into his faith, and he loved being becoming Catholic and everything. But um, I never sensed that he really, you know, got anything from me as a, as, a, as a priest. I mean, certainly, you know, giving him the sacraments and bringing him into the church and everything. But, it, you know, sometimes, you know, you go through your uh, role as a, as a priest, as a minister, as a chaplain. And so you're just, you know, you're, I don't want to say you're a generic you know, one size fits all kind of thing. But anyway, this guy uh, completely blew me away and, you know, started saying all these, you know, really positive, nice things about me. And, and I thought, well, I, I had no idea that I had touched this guy's life. You know, he was just going on and on and on about how I helped this guy and how I, he, you know, helped him understand his faith, which was the most important thing to him. And, you know, because you know, a lot of times, you know, he would never say anything after Sunday, like, you know, that was a great homily or that was a great message or, you know, he talked about the other priest who would feel, he goes, oh, that priest, that guy, he was in the zone. He'd always come saying, he's in the zone. And I go, am I ever in the zone? You know, and I mean, I was thinking that, you know, and, but he would never say that about my homilies. And I'm thinking, yeah, obviously, you know, he's not getting anything out of what I'm saying, but oh, well, it doesn't matter. But unbeknownst to me and little did I know, yeah, he, um, uh, he was being touched. Uh, I was helping him, so that was great. Well, I think I, I pretty much exhausted everything I want to say tonight. I'm just just checking in with you all. I'm hoping you're having a, a you know, Christmas is just a 
you know, what, eight shopping days away, and, you know, so, or, you know, whatever you celebrate. Um, I hope you have a blessed, uh, holy, happy season, joyful season, peaceful season, wherever you're at. And I hope, I really hope that you can enjoy with the rest of us a good Christmas pipe. That's right, a good Christmas pipe. Um, I would love to see somebody do a video on the Christmas pipe, you know, and the history of the Christmas pipe. That would be awesome. Uh, I just found out that I can watch for free. I, I, I shipped up, uh, boxed up a lot of my videos that I have, and one of them is the old Creatures Great and Small God Rest You Merry Gentlemen episode. And I was going to watch that tonight, and I said, oh, that's right, everything's all boxed up, and I started moving stuff last week, so it's not here. And I went, oh, my Christmas, I won't have Christmas without that. I love that video. But I found out that on YouTube, you can watch them for free, and they have that episode. I just saw it. So I'm excited about later on tonight, uh, probably watching All Creatures Great and Small, the episode entitled God Rest You Merry Gentlemen. I just love that one. So if you've ever seen it, treat yourself to something fun, and it's free on YouTube, at least just here in the United States it is. Okay. Well, thank you for watching, and um, God bless you all, and happy Hanukkah, and happy Christmas, and Kwanzaa, and winter solstice, I guess, whatever. All right. Take care. Light up your world. Hey, light up your pipe. See you soon.